Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Art So Wonderful and Poetry Pioneer podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in to us today. We are blessed to be here. We have a lot of exciting content to come, and I'll start by introducing myself. If you haven't joined us before, I'm Candace Owens. I'm the president of Poetry Pioneer, and I'll turn it over to my co-host, Bruce. Bruce, for a brief intro. There we go. I got time yes. for a minute. Yeah, um, and I'm Bruce Wilson. Um, Art So Wonderful. So... Uh, Candice is my partner in this in this um venture, and um, we just love um, everybody, and we're just trying to get um, the word out to everyone about um the being in the bright light and the way the world is today. And our topic of today's show is faith, right? Yes. So go ahead. Go ahead. Well, yeah. as always, I think we always like to kind of um, just open up with a poem. Mm -hmm. So the one I pick for today is "Why Are We Here." Do you ever wonder why we are here? Why do we allow ourselves to live in fear? Why collectively do we see everything but nothing is clear? Why is there bad news everywhere and everything is so severe? Mm. I ask you because I can't figure out how did we get here? Will you help me imagine a world where we can, all the hate and war will disappear? A world full of kindness for everyone and everything that is dear. A world where we elevate each other instead of competing for a career a world where we can be the pioneers. This is the new frontier. It is time for the light to reappear. A world where humanity is alike and becomes each other peers. We can't believe all that we see and hear. Let's do it together and eventually the world will appear. I like this poem because I think it really focuses on faith, right? Because we know that looking around at the world right now, it doesn't look like there's a lot to have faith in. So we're really left at, you know, what can you hang on to outside of yourself and what you see to let you know that that it's going to get better. It has right. to. Right. Forgot about it. Well, gosh, Candace, number one, Queen Cam Candace, Angel, our par, you know, brightest light. Listen, Man, you know, you you only way it's gonna get better if people will kind of like stay on. Well, we we always preach and we say to each other all the time, every day, every week. So I don't know how many times we say stay on the narrow path. Why does the road lead to destruction? And many follows it. And so, and I don't know if they know what that means, but um, through our, our podcast and through our, the cable shows that we do, they will learn from or at least from us because what we're trying to do. Is bring like um, uh, you know, in like the best we can, um, in God's will, bring heaven on earth, you know, and change the way things are. Now, um, devastations around the world, okay. This you sent me some links about earthquakes and all kind of things. What what, what you, you sent me? What you sent me? What some of the things you sent me? About? Well, apparently I'm in the YouTube algorithm of getting all these natural disasters because it's always on my timeline of just like there's been earthquakes and floods. And um, I think Dubai was recently just hit with a really bad rainstorm, which was just crazy. It's like just these phenomenons that they're saying, you know, they're not sure they're what they don't know what's causing it. But it's, um, you know, once in a lifetime or mm you know, they, they, the worst on record. And so, you know, sending my prayers out to, to all those people that have had to go through that. Um, yeah. But yeah, it seems like it's the, across the world, there's just, it's affecting a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you sent me like uh, the um, link to showing how Dubai is flooding. Mm -hmm. Now, can you imagine that, you know, Dubai on sand flooding in this, you know, a God's, Create that area for sand and being hot as hell. How does it get? It's hot as hell there. Okay. Now, geez, Wendy. So, now I didn't really know this until I saw about the floods that Dubai actually experienced with the clouds so it can rain. And they think, people think that it floods like the, or had flooded or is flooding or, you know, right now it's flooded. Because of the clouds that they experiment with, and that they, whatever the hell they do, throw this shit up, I mean, whatever they do, they threw it up in yeah. the sky, and blah, 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 blah. I think because I'm, I'm part of God's team, that it's, it's a natural 
what the sign of the time. Mm -hmm. Now, what that mean? What does the sign of what does the sign of the time mean? And um, I don't really know what the answer is, but I know I know one thing it means that you know, with based on um how the world is and all the things people are, who humans are, and what things that we do, I think it means that better get our shit, get our act together. Better do the right things, stay on the narrow path, not live in a worldly world as we do. I'm I'm kind of worldly too, because you know I'm forced to be worldly because I got to pay bills. I like nice cars. I like you know nice little steak. You know I like you know this. You know you know I'm I'm I, we're not Adam and Eve, but you know, you know what I'm saying. But um, we don't live off the land like some incredible people still do. Um. And we don't, I don't see, I live in Vermont, you live in Kentucky. Good thing about us, we don't see those natural disasters, earthquakes. Now, you sent me some stuff about earthquakes, too. Like, happening, like, like here in, here, like, Connecticut. I mean, come on, come on, Candace. What's up with that? I don't know. It's just stuff I, I mean, it just seems like, I mean, but there's always, you know, some seismic activity going on, but it's right. just been a lot here recently right. and uh so it's just you know i try to stay aware <clears throat> aware of the times too right so right. You, you you know the signs of the times and you got to be aware of the signs of the times right. um and so i think you know just just trying to to realize yeah you know you you got to have um you the only peace you're going to find right now is inside yourself just put it that way no, if no, no, you're no. not going to find peace by looking out here at anything right um and so what does sign of the time mean to you um i think if anybody's open i mean i'm not i don't want to be a, a doomer gloomer um because i don't believe that it's going to just all come to an abrupt end um but you know there's i don't know if a lot of people or listeners have in whatever culture you have whether it's the bot christian bible or any um kind of religious text there's there's a a, a like a verbiage about there being a time where there's all these signs where you know it's, it's come to an end like this time frame come and it's shown history and history over and over again of different cycles of different civilizations just starting over again mm -hmm. um and so i feel like that we just need to it's a really good sign for us all to look around and be like hey what can we do better um you know that should be a sign of the times is that you know we're, we're on the verge. I feel like that everyone can think that we are on the verge of any time. We don't know any country could go haywire and set off a nuke. And, and we're just, uh -huh. and we're just supposed to get up and go to work. Like everything's normal. And it's like, you know, that's not normal. It's not normal for not just the people that live in the countries that are being attacked, but just normal people, you know, just everybody in the world, like, Hey, we never know something right. could just pop off. And then it's just, you know, everything. And so I think that that's just, what you got to look at the signs of the times. I mean, you know, the faith, the faithful get more faithful and the faithless get less faith. And so it's like, we got to stick together and, and um, do what we can. So that's, that's kind of what my thing, what I believe the end of the time is, or yeah. not the end of the time, the signs of the times. There signs we go. of the times. Yeah. So damn, yeah, and this man, like, it's like, um, like, I mean, really, people are really not at war, but they're at war because they just um killing everybody and they still, you know, taking over um areas of other countries and and uh, you know pillaging and and just being so hateful. What the? Why? Why you think? I mean, man, I mean, this is like you know what's happening across the world now with um. You no, know, you know areas of the world that that's been they've been fighting for damn for before you and I was right. born and your mama and my mama and you know and our granddad too. They always had these issues, and so why can't they just you know get along? You know, I, I mean, think it's the ego. Like we all, you know, we have this internal self dialogue that we all hear every day. Um, and you know to do right from wrong, right? You know what the right thing is and you know what the wrong thing is. But I think if you start doing it for something other that, like if you just are constantly living for yourself and what makes you feel good and you're not worried about your neighbor or, 
you know, the planet or just anything. It's just, what can I do right now? That makes me, I think that we, we've been kind of trained to, to kind of not really trained, but people got to start living differently, right? We can't just take from the earth and just take and take and be consumers and make and buy and, um, you know, without going on too much of a tangent about that, like we got to, we got to find a way to, to get out of that. Like you said, we got to be, of, we got to be in the world, right? We got to pay bills it, right now. It's just part of the way the, the world's structured. It is what it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. But don't be consumed by it. Right. Yeah, I know. So, um, damn Candice, you know, we talk all the time about a lot of things and like pretty much everything we can, like, you know, our job is to try to help make the world better shine a bright light down to everybody and um you know stay away from the devil's work and the devil's everywhere he's trying to consume everybody and he has and he is he's doing a great job <laughs> if you want to say the devil's doing a good job he's doing a damn exceptional job devil you're doing an exceptional job you know but you lose you're gonna lose you're gonna lose and you are losing but think that's why we're you know like this podcast and any other people out there that are, are are being brave and using their voices to put content out there and get on platforms to try to be like hey there's still hope you know it's not he's not winning he may I mean he might be on the outside but there's still people out there that that aren't done um and you know I think by doing the the poetry contest we've got people from other countries that have jumped in and it shows that you know even though there may be division people are still ready to collaborate and do things um and i think that gives me some hope anyways is it seeing that hey it doesn't matter where you're at in the world mm. the power of art and words and anything like that that can connect us and, and get those bad emotions out and help it mm. I think that that's kind of healing us slowly, right? We got to heal as a society and be like, yeah, th we have to face it. This is, this has happened for, like you said, since way before any of us remember. And it's the world we've been handed. It's the what we've been. Bi biblical days. Yes. Bibli biblical. Damn. Wow. Ugh. It bothers me so much, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I just know that we're here to try to help people, um, learn about um how to get better and all we say to them is that um you know you can follow your ten commandments you can follow the you know you can follow the um you know the um the law of the land you know what I'm saying that the yeah, and just know that those are the ways to be it's very simple you know I mean like Josh thou should not kill thou should not steal these type of things is is very logical and it's easy to remember you know and just help one another uh, be kind and faithful, um, show love and compassion to each other. Um, and as yet, it's like, you know, people pick and choose what they, of those things when they want to, you know, you know, like, oh, let me help the old lady across the street because she's today. And then some days you're like, I wish that old lady get her ass across the street. <laughs> lady, get your old ass across the street so we can get can we can move traffic and keep moving or whatever. And so, you know, <laughs> we gotta be like say all the time, baby. We gotta be like, you know, love one another and help each other and be patient, God and use God's will and stay on the narrow path and get off the wide road. But um, seize it always know it follows me, you know. A lot, and I'm just so happy that I have, you know, oh, thousands of people in Vermont have, um, or well, let's go hundreds, right? I will say over thousands of people, but I don't imagine, know the number of the uh, measurements, so I can't say for sure. But they always been through my programs. They always, um, we help them with their goals, dreams, aspirations. We, um, we, we help them with whatever they need because we believe in people, places people and places, you know, what's your goals, what's your dreams, what's your aspirations, how can we help you with them? We don't try to tell them that you should be a rocket scientist if you, if you want to be a pediatrician or a carpenter. We want to help you with those those dreams and goals. And that's what we've been doing since God knows when. And thank God for helping us do that. You know? So we've been very successful doing that with people. And so I'm very, I don't know, nothing else to do but help people with their goals. Everything I do, all the boards and the Human Rights Commission and all the boards that sit on 
people who knows me in the state of Vermont, they know me. They know the boards I sit on. They know the work I do. And I ain't better to know down body because I need everybody. If it wasn't but for the people, what, what would I have to do? Um, but I just want them to carry on. Well, our topic today is faith. What does faith mean to me, Candice? And then I'm going to ask you the question. Faith mean to me. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's a big one. For this for what, what is it? One, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five letters, five characters. What does faith mean to me? Faith mean, first of all, just being faithful to uh, our higher power, standing on a narrow path, help people with their goals, dreams, and aspirations, love one another, keep myself, be humble, where I can get wisdom, and I can live a long life. So definitely being humble about who I am because, you know, all the things that I do and things I say, I talk to people about what I do and I say, and they say, damn, you got, you do a lot. You know, and I have to think about it for a minute. Like, damn, you're right. I do do a lot. I don't, I can't, you know, it's, it's just so much I do and so much I've done or blah, blah, blah. You know, and then I have, you know, I have to keep myself humble because it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, but based on everything I do is from God's will, and he and, and he, I was trained to do it because of that. And my goal was, my only goal is to help people with the things that I learned and done. Even my um, disparities and you know, all the things I've done wrong, because God knows I've done some stuff wrong, you know. And then some things and still in the closet, and it's, you know, people know, the, whatever, all the things I've done. is always a learning process to get better, because everything that seemed to be bad, you always learn something good from it. If people can't learn something from things that they've done bad, then there's something wrong with you. You gotta learn from the bad things you've done. You know, when you make the wrong mistake on your on your test, and you say, "Damn, it wasn't that answer. It was B. It wasn't A." And you know, B was the answer. So now you gotta remember that it's not A. It's B. Even though you got A, it seemed you got you seem that you got A wrong, but you really didn't because you learned something from it. You know, it's B now, so it's always good. And so faith means to me is just Stand on a narrow path, be strong, be, be faithful as I can to everybody, you know, and um, just love one another and just, you know, and, you know, I, I'm so fortunate everybody walk up to me, want to give me a hug or, or something or say something to me on the street that something I've done good for them or, you know, that feels so good. People I can't remember and they, they come up to me all the time. I can't walk down nowhere. So I don't care what part of the state of Vermont is. They always recognize me and know me. So how good is that? That's so good. So faith is just continue to do God's will, continue to do, um, stay on a narrow path, continue to work with people, help them with their goals, dreams, aspirations. Because I don't know what else I could do, Candace. I don't, I don't can't do nothing else. I open up six huge centers in the malls, every large mall. Uh, Art's so wonderful. Youth galleries, over three of those galleries and malls. We do mirrors everywhere. We help people with their goals and aspirations. We help them with their things they want to do in life, internships. And, you know, I don't know what else. I, I mean, whatever God tells me to do, I'm going to do it because that's, I'm, 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 I'm just a, I just, I'm just a shepherd. And that's all my job is to help people with their, whatever the hell I can help them with. And whatever I can't help them with, we know people like you, Candace, that they can, you can help them with. You know, like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to have to refer you to, and this over, and uh, she will help you. You know, she immediately. That's how we operate. We ain't, we ain't, ain't no shake on us yet. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no shake. We like straight up, like you know, and it's all me. Ain't no fat. You know, says so no shake, baby. You know, people don't know what that means. Then you gotta join me on South Side Chicago one day. And, you know, people tell you what that no shake on this shit means. But anyways, so what do faith mean to you, Candice? Um, you know, I thought about that before the show and, um, I think to me that, you know, there's been times in my life, I don't want to say I've ever questioned God, but I've questioned mm -hmm. how God could let things happen or why things continue to be. And so I think faith to me is just knowing that all of this isn't for nothing that, um, you know, all the that everything that we, like you said, that we endure makes us better. And it's to help us get to our purpose, that we are here for a divine purpose mm -hmm. and to have faith that every one of us, that every challenge, you know, whether it's losing a job, losing a family member, um, you know, financial hardships, just 
personal things that you go through that at that end of that day, you're like, you know what? Today was tough, but I did it. Right. And I'm going to have faith that tomorrow is going to be better. Right. And so that you always have faith that tomorrow is going to come and that will be done. And it's right. like, and whatever that is, it's all going to work out. Um, and I think, you know, to me, just as I connect with others and I talk with people throughout my community here in Kentucky um, and even online, I mm-hmm. feel like a lot of people are losing that faith, right? right. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, what are we doing this for? Why? Um, and so I think just that's, that's faith is just complete trust and confidence that everything's going to work out in divine order and that God's going to make sure that the plan is successful. Nice. As long as you do your part and you stay on the narrow, you know, you got to do your part, right? Or, you know, you can't be like uh why is the road? Cause we know that leads to destruction. So, you know, we got to stay on that narrow path, even though you, I've been on a narrow path for like, I've been like, I can't even walk the damn thing straight. You know what I mean, but I'm trying to, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying to walk straight on it, but I'm like wobbly and shit, you know? Oh, no. Then finally, I can get straight on it, you know? So, um, Candace Owens, Queen Candace Owens, number one. Please talk about um, um, like our well, our contest and the and the winners. Yeah, so we had our first winner who we're gonna try to get us to join us this pod- podcast, but there must have been something that came up. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and announce their name and hope I pronounce it right. It was to be Mansori. Um, and we're gonna give them their prize and we're gonna try to work with her to get her on the next podcast. Um. Our new contest starts May 1st and it will end May 31st. And it is about faith. Write a poem about faith, what it means to you, um, maybe how faith has helped you. Just just it's something po- just in that context. Um, there's a, like we discussed, there's a $10 entry fee. Our first place winner, depending on the participants, the goal is to give $150, if not more, in monetary prizes. Um, and then we'll also feature that guest in our June podcast. So as of right now, our next podcast is scheduled for May 23rd. Um, and we'll kind of just discuss our next contest and because we're just going to try to keep it rolling and we're going to keep trying to get everyone out there to think. And that's kind of why we're doing these themes and contests and everybody will get certificates. If people have not received your certificate from the last contest, I'm still working on it. Like we had talked, we had a large amount of participation So um, we're still working with the contestants and um, to get all that to them. So that's as far as that goes with that. Um, I did, I don't know if there's anything you want to talk about, but I know the podcast is a little bit shorter. Yeah. um, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We still got, I think we got like eight, nine minutes. Oh, okay. We're doing good. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, shit, man, I just, you know, I feel like, I feel like, you know, our job, Candace, your job and my job is to make, try to bring some, like, heaven on earth. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, everybody, let's, let's straighten this, let's straighten up right here on earth. You ain't got to die first. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't want, we just want you to straight, leave your long, be humble and leave, and get wisdom and live a long life. And, and work with your neighbor, your, your, your partner. Your um, your friends, people you don't know, you know, I mean, help them, help them. You know, it might say spend a whole day with them, but you know, wrong with that, you know what I mean? But help them best you can, you know. It's so much easy, like they say, it's so much easy to give you a smile than a frown. And your face even feel better. People, if you're smiling, guess what? It's so much, that feels so much good. When you, <laughs> when you frown, that hurts. That shit hurts. Really does. So I'm so much easy to smile than frown. So that's the same with doing the good things in life. That's the same thing as doing a helping people with their goals and dreams, aspirations. Help the person with their groceries across the street. Say something nice. Good morning. How are you feeling? Lovely day. And they and they like, well, it's ra- <clears throat> it's raining, storming, and whatever. You say, well, we woke up this morning, right? How good is that? Can't beat that shit. If you win seventy billion dollars today, and this will happen, the lottery is closed, and you can't wake up, and then tomorrow you gotta wait tomorrow, you don't wake up. <laughs> yeah, what's the best thing? Waking up in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's a very simple thing, but you know, but I know why people want to. People are, are 
so like well, I said people or some people want to be so evil and um not to want to well, be it's easy um I feel like as they say it's hard to do the right thing when no one's looking mm -hmm. and I think that um you know over time you program yourself as you keep doing it it becomes natural right the more you stay on the narrow path the more you don't you know you don't even find yourself getting off of it or even wanting to get off of it you know if you're you do an act of kindness every day that just becomes habit and I think we're in the habit of just staying in our lane or getting in others when we shouldn't right like we're just and instead of being like hey why don't we carpool why don't we I mean this is metaphorically but why don't we all work together like we're just so siloed like well this is my life and this is the way I want to do it mm -hmm. and hopefully eventually people will realize we're not we're all like you said we're we're all here on one planet and each moment in the day I guarantee you you can find a moment that feels like heaven on earth that makes you smile that you're like wow I'm so glad to be alive and I think finding those moments and appreciating those, the more they eventually have to come, right? Right. Yeah. Hmm. So like I tell Candice, I was like, Candice, Candice, please give yourself a hug for me each day. Because if we're going to try to spread love to everybody, and we got to like, want people to love one another, we have to show love among ourselves. And, and if nothing else, hug your damn self. Because like, get, uh, hug yourself, you know, and thank God that you woke up this, that he woke you up this morning because, you know, that how good, even a hug, it's hugging yourself even feel good, you know what I mean? So everybody, all our listeners out there, hug yourself. Just hug yourself. Tell yourself that you love yourself and that you love your high power and that you only, you love people and you only want the best for everybody. Do that every morning. You know, tell your let people know, or well, tell yourself that at least, you know, just hug yourself. It feels so good. I ain't say hug yourself for like forever, but I'm a hugger. Anybody that hugs me, they they know they give me like a long hug because I'm a long hug, long, long hug, oh, long, <laughs> hugger. I'm a long hugger. And so like if I'm with the mayor or whatever, or whoever it is, they give me long hugs. The same with me because I, you know, they, I give them one soon, you know, and I be like, they give me a hug. I say, damn, you know what? Damn, man, or whoever it might be. I said, I really need that hug. I, and it, sometimes you just really need it. That's a damn hug, you know what I mean? But them tell you, you know, like Candace and I had to be careful about all you know, all the things we do because we're we're um we do we're a little different from some people, you know. I mean? We're not better than nobody, but you know, we have we you know the devils is out to try to infiltrate on people like everybody who's who want to love one another, who want to pass good words, who want to. Just show people compassion. The devil hate that shit. He wants you to be on his side. He wants you to be showing devilish things to people. And if he gets you to be on his team, guess what? Then he then and he switch you over. Now and you everybody like want to hug you or be your friend. Then now the devil got all these people from you on his team. You know, and it's true. Devil, is, the devil is there. He is there. The devil is for real. Mm -hmm. And I, we, uh, Candace and I can tell you, we know the devil is real because we show, we, we, we know we have examples of the devil doing stuff, you know, trying to infiltrate, infiltrate, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> devil, ain't hey, get me, you know what I'm saying? No way, devil. Today okay. ain't the day. They even have a shirt, I have a shirt that says that, not today, Satan, and I wear it around. I'm That's like, right. nope, don't even look at me. <laughs> 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 I'm invisible. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. Oh yeah, wear that shirt, girl. Girl, you wear that shirt, Candice. Number one, you wear that damn shirt. Damn, not today, baby. Not today. Mm -hmm. I know that's right, and you, and you know that's right. We gotta tell ourselves too that yo, know, not today, devil. Mm -hmm. That little devil, like they show you on the commercials or whatever they show you on the commercials or those movies or whatever. <laughs> that little devil sitting, here, yeah. Go ahead, go look at that, and go do this, go that. And it's very tempted because we're we live in a worldly world, and we want those things. You know, go go do this, go get this money to do that, to this, this, to that. Or, or don't don't you know work against this person or that person, and 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 on the devil's shoulder, and the angel like, well, 
if you do that, you know, you, you're not collecting all the points in heaven, so you might lose your points, you know. But the, the, see, like the angel person don't say as much as the devil. The devil is like, swaze, swaze. He's on the block for real, baby. And then the angel is like, I will advise, don't, don't do that. Just stick with God, you know what I mean? And you'll be okay, you know. You stay on a narrow path. And then the devil's like, yo, bro, you go with me. We're going to party. We're going to the block. We're going to have, you know. It, you know, it seemed like he offered you more wor more things to do, worldly things to do. And so, so we got to go with the angel on our shoulder, you know, and still do those things, have a good party, have a, you know, love one another and meet with people and, you know, ever. so um, what we got, are we supposed to say, are you, are you supposed to say something else? Because um, I've got a closing poem. And then before I read it, I just want to leave our, um, listeners with the question that we've asked ourselves today, what does faith mean to you? Mm. And um, you don't have to write a poem about it. I just want you to ask yourself that question today and think on it for a minute. And if you don't know what it means, it's okay. And, you know, you can take a minute and it may not come to you immediately, but you'll eventually find the answer. And when you do, it guides you. And just listen, like you said, to that little thing on your shoulder or in your <laughs> heart, having all the good things and faithful. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait a minute, Ken. Before you, before you uh, say that for us, sweetie, can you just say, can you just let them know about May 1st, our our next, you know, what are we doing next with, uh, with faith? Yeah, so I, I can remind them again. Um, so May 1st, stay tuned on the website for, and um, social media for updates on the new contest that's coming <laughs> out. We'll be accepting entries until May 31st. Um, and that will be available, like I said, on poetrypioneer.com and artsowonderful.com. Um, and then you can check out Instagram and, um, please contact us too. If you have any suggestions for any shows, or if you'd like to be a guest, or if you're interested in what we do, please reach out. Cause we want you to join our mission. No um, the more that we connect, the more of a difference we can make and the more light and lives we can change. No doubt so, about it. Yeah. That's, Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, I, I and everybody, I count on Candace. She's like talking about your right hand man. She had, she's like my right, left, in the middle. I'm like, Candace, you know, please do this. Help me out with that. She and she's like, bam, 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 just do it. You know, so I love you and thank you so much for doing all the things you do for for me and that will help everybody else. It's you know, you're so smart on all this stuff. So um, so uh, so we're good on all of those things. It seems like I'm forgetting one thing, you know, we're not are we forget anything. Uh, did you say that? Did you? Well, yeah, I guess you said that. So I guess you can close it out. You go with the point, right? You okay. So this down. one is entitled "You Can." If we look around, we are. If we look around, we are surrounded by magic every day. We have to look up at the sky, smile, and enjoy the sun rays. We can never get lost when rainbows guide the way. No matter what happens, just know in the ending, everything will be okay. Promise yourself to make it better than yesterday. All we can do is try our best to not get distracted and go astray. To love ourselves no matter what we do should be the main priority we display. To have fun with each other and live, laugh, and play. Remember, you are amazing inside and out, no matter what anyone may say. Remind them who you are and kindly let your energy let people know you are here to stay. No doubt about it. Thank you so much, Candice. And you know, people like you said, they can um get on talk to you on our Instagram or our so wonderful dot com. And if they want to be, we have a cable show too. So if you want to be on on our cable show or our podcast, and just let us know. Would you would you prefer, you know, and um we'll we'll clock you in some somewhere down the line. So close us out, Candice. Close All the show. All right. Well, may God bless everyone that is listening or whatever higher power you believe in. And just try to stay positive. And no matter what's happening today in your life, I hope that you find a moment that you feel like you can at least have heaven on earth. So that's all I got. Thank you so much, Candy. I'll talk to you later. Right. Bye. Bye. Bye.